hard to see, but I know it's PE plastic. Here, and here's the wire right here, hidden. Somebody painted the wire, so that's why you gotta look. Closely find a wire. If you're not being if you're not looking closely, you ain't gonna see the wire and you could think it's unlocatable, but it, but it's really not. So like I said, it's right over here the wire. Camouflage. Roads, low um, resistance. This must be shallow. Sing at me pretty good. Took me right here. Curb box. And you can see where I lost it. It stopped. Picked back up here, so I got bumped my gain up because there's resistance on the line. So I bumped it up a little bit. I'm gonna check it. 36, 37 milliamps, 211, three feet. That's about right. Compass straight. So I bumped up my gain just a little bit. I didn't go crazy with it. I'm at 52%. So I always want my bars here to be right in the middle with my compass. I don't want to be, I don't want to be this high because it's off the chart. You want to be right in the middle, always in the middle. If it goes up, bring it down a little bit. So you're right in the middle. And now look, you got another one here. So the, just they had to say in the curb valve right here, you look around, see if there's another service. You don't see another service, then you know that's the main. So, like, you gotta look over there, see if that gas main over there comes this, the gas service over there comes this way. It might be there's shut off, but we see the hard marks, it's in the road, so that's the gas main shut off there. So let's see if it turns, like the previous, locator had it so I got it right here I'm out here I got nothing where those flags are I sweep and it turned and I got it right in the road and right here I lost it so I could do another sweep and you see I'm not moving up my receiver at all my percentage still is at the same And I'm still 27 milliamps at four feet, so the main's deeper out here. So now, now I got I gotta push up my percentage up to get my bar to get my bar right in the middle. And you can see I'm back in the middle now. You always want to be in the middle on your receiver. So this main turned and went out. You can see where it did the turns and people would assume that this gas main went goes straight. And it went into the road for some odd reason. Something must have happened here at one time, one point. Probably got hit. So my car rerouted it to go out here. Probably for the railroad. Really trips. good here. You can see where everything's gnawing, compass, everything's straight, and it's gnawing really good. This is a beautiful gnaw, right next to my peak. Now, 
Now I'm coming to a bend. Now I'm gonna peek out my bend. I want to peek it out, see where my peak is, and I'm gonna be in the middle. And watch, I'm watching my tap graph and my numbers to find out where the turn is. So it's still over here. So it's still over here. So I'm losing it right here. And this is what happens when you guys don't baby step the turns. Look what the previous locator has it way out here. And look where I got it. That's two, three feet off. That's a damage way didn't happen. So that's why you baby step it and you peek it out. You peek it. Anytime you get a bend, you want to peek the bend to make sure you're actually on right dead nuts with the main. So I'm going to peek it. I'm watching my peak, I'm watching the top bars, I'm watching the compass, I'm watching a lot of things on my receiver. Now I'm watching the top graph bar. See now, now the top graph bar is not moving that much. And my compass is more pointing this way. So I'm going to walk a couple feet. I'm leaving at 60%, now I'm going to sweep. I'm trying to pick it up. And you can see how strong it got. Now I've got strong. I'm too high now, so I'm going to bring it down. So now I'm at 50%. Maybe a little up, because I like to be right in the middle. So I'm right in the middle. Now I'm going to dot it out. Dot it out. Dot it out. Now I'm going to turn around. And now, now i got to catch this bend. i got to make this radius. And the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to peek it out. I'm going to peek it out again. A lot of peak here, that's so why I'm satisfied. See the compass is turning, but I got the main still here. So here's the elbow right here, it turns. So now, now look where this locator got it. He has a mark way out here, and my dot's way there. It's a big difference. Look at that's damage right there on the bend. And when they hit a bend, that's hard to shut off a gas main when it when it's on a bend. It's just difficult to turn off. This gas will be blowing for a while. You know, if they hit the gas main over here, they could put straps on it. They could saddle, they could put straps on it and stop the gas from leaking. But on the bend, they, they can't. They gotta re, we gotta they gotta do a repair. And that could be hours. So now I'm gonna null it. See where my nose in relation with my dot. And if I'm satisfied with it, which I am, my nose matching with my dots. And right here it's matching. Now I got the bend. It's more over here. Now let's knoll it back with my So it's still still putting me in the same spot where my knoll is, so I'm gonna mark it by my knoll. Now I'm getting close to the next bend. So I'm gonna peek it out. You wanna peek it out when it makes a bend. You don't want no it to go throw you off. See the compass turning, but I want to get my peak. So I'm right here peaking. So here's my next bed. Now I'm gonna do the same process again. But I'm gonna null it out and see where it is. But look at look at the difference where I got it. You gotta take your time on these beds to save a damage. Your supervisor will be happy, the company that you work for will be happy, and everybody will be happy that you marked the gas main accurately versus this other locator. He's three, four feet off.